All right, guys, so welcome to another episode of Code with Mark in which I help you with my videos to become a professional web developer a lot faster. If this is the first time you tuned in, consider subscribing because there's going to be a lot of videos that you are going to learn a lot from it. So having said that, let's move on to this particular video. I do not do any intros if this is the first time you logged in and to my channel or watching one of my videos. You're going to be so surprised because you're going to be jam-packed value information that's going to help you in your projects. So in this video, let's figure out how you can secure your uh, login system with PHP cookies on the front end side as well as on the back end side. So this is the typical flow. And also you probably noticed a new thing. You can see my face on the right hand side, right? Right over there. And now this is going to be the new format that I'm going to follow. If you guys really love it, this is going to be amazing because you can actually see my face, react, how I feel and look at it and all that good stuff. And enough with that. So let's move right into this particular video. So as you can see on the screen, so if I zoom in and it has a PHP secure cookie login system. Typically, this is how it works when you are using this way so we're gonna pretend hypothetically speaking you are logging in with this particular code that you could just make up anything you want right now i'm gonna make up just say one two three and then i'm gonna click on this uh, button that says login and dash code with mark and once i click login then it's gonna take me to this dashboard that says welcome and the code that you entered is one two three and if I go back to my homepage, lack of a better word, and then if I go here, hypothetically speaking, if I already set the cookie, it's going to take me to my uh, dashboard. So here we go. I clicked on it. I don't know if you noticed or not. So if I go over here, delete this, then I hit enter, and then it's going to take me right to my dashboard, which should be the way it should have at work. But the key thing, the way to do this right now, it is not secure. And you might be thinking like, what are you talking about? It's not secure, right? So let me show you. So I'm gonna go over here, open up, um, by the way, I'm using Google Chrome. So I'll right click here, click on inspect, and then go to console. And this is the most easiest, the uh, fastest way anyone can access anyone's cookies and they don't have to even know about it. And they, before you know it, your password is hot. And this is the way to do it. And what you can do is implement this trick into your login system in the PHP world. So that way your system is secure and no one can ever hack your system, okay? So the way to do it is in your uh, console uh, log over here right here so what you can do is to access any cookie that is set up on this particular domain what you do is click on document and then you type in let me zoom this out as well so you can see it a little better so here it is so right now i just typed in document and i hit a period and then start typing in cookie and then before you know it there you have the cookie name and it's the value that I have set. You're like, holy cow, like how did I do that? And then if you don't know where cookies are stored, if you go or in if you're using Chrome, if you go under applications and then cookies and this is store and this is the value and then it's going to come up here. And this is not the most secure way to run your project or login system. So before I teach you the secure way to create cookies in PHP and make sure no one else has access, I just wanted to show you this. So let's figure out how it we can do that in case you're like, hey man, I'm new to this and I don't even know how to do that. So that sounds pretty cool and I wanna learn how to do that. So let's teach you how to do that first and then i'll show you in which we're gonna follow the same command type in the document dot cookie and you're not going to be able to find the cookie that we set it in here all right so let's go so here it is your html with a little bit of php up top which you can actually i'll make it easy for you like i always do i'll just put it in the link and that way you could just copy paste and include it into your project. So this particular part, let me just zoom it in a little more, I guess this right there. 
Okay, this particular part, basically what that does is this is just going to get the URL of your folder. So what does that mean? So this is the URL right over here. So if I copy this over here, I'll show you real quick. Right here. So this is what it is. So this is the URL of this particular folder. And that's all this whole block of code is going to do. And you will probably see on the left hand side, I have the index.php, then I have a ajax.php, and then I have dashboard.php. And this particular code is going to be used in all three of those files. I just put it in there three different times, but obviously this is just, just an example. You can just create a function and include it into all those files if you want to. So, all right, so nothing special going here. You can literally just copy paste it and it's gonna give you this particular uh, path to your uh, folder wherever your file is at, that's it. And the next right over here is gonna check to see if the cookie is set. This is on the index. If it is set, and I haven't done any logic, I'm just saying this is just, if it's set, obviously if you have this system in which you want to authenticate the value of the code that is set and then go into your database, into your MySQL database, check to see if the value exists. If it does exist, then you go further. But for the sake of this particular video, I am not doing that. I'm just saying, hey, if it's set, then I'm just gonna send it to this file right over here. And then this one, this particular uh, pa uh, variable, it's just gonna get me the, like I said before, the path to my folder. And then I'm just gonna add the file dashboard.php to it and that's that. All right, so let me just right over here, wrap this around. And then after that, this is just standard your uh, regular HTML, nothing special going on here. And then in here, I'm using Bootstrap because this is the greatest, right? And there's a material, uh, material CSS as well, but I like prefer, I personally prefer a, a uh, Bootstrap. And also, I might be considering doing this a combination of two framework using material as well as your bootstrap. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below. Let me know. You're like, hey, man, I want, I want you to do a tutorial based on that. So that would be cool. I can help. That will help me out in my project, though. I will do that. But just leave a comment in the below or send me an email. Because a lot of people send me an email. And, you know, I based on what they sent me, this is where the video idea is coming for. So thank you for sending the email and continue to send that. And I will do my best to get to all your emails. I mean, I have a time to do it right away, but I do read them. When I get to them, I will respond. So thank you for sending me email. That's that. So let's move on. So we have our HTML with the bootstrap, uh, CSS, jQuery, and all that stuff. And then I'm just using the container which is this right over here. So let me just put this side by side so you guys can see it. First of all, let me just delete the cookie so you can see the whole container thing. So go over here and delete it. And if I refresh it, it's gonna take me back to that. All right. So this is this, this is this. Let's just put this over here, this over here. So this is what it is. So this particular block of code, uh, not there. All right, so this particular block of code, basically what it does is this is just gonna give you all of this. It says the PHP secure cookie login system and then the input code and then uh, login button where, where it says login dash uh, Corbin Mark. That's all it is. And then I'm using a jQuery because you know I love me some jQuery, right? If you haven't, you should watch all the videos if you are in the process of wanting to learn jQuery, how to master it and all that stuff. There's going to be a link in the below. Go on and take that course. And after that course, you're going to be like blown away because you're going to be a ton or ton of information that you can use in your project to speed it up by finishing it a lot faster. So go take that course. You're going to love this. So let's move forward. So I'm just using a regular ajax and then i am saying that go to the ajax request which is right over here which is the once again the same php 
variable and I'm adding to it to say go to ajax.php and then this particular variable goes right here and then I'm adding a JSON object to it to send it to the uh, ajax.php file and then that's that and then once it comes back so let's look at the ph ajax.php so in here like i said before i'm using the same exact code and up until here and then i'm saying that over here is where i am telling asking it to say hey if the code is set then run this if it is not set then show an error message which is right over here so if it is set and obviously in your practical uh, uh login system what you want to do is you want to get the code you want to validate that particular code to make sure it does exist the value of it in your database and then if it does then you do some checks if it doesn't then you send it error message but for this particular video because i just want to show you how does this work i'm just saying if it does exist then send this url which is just your uh dashboard.php and then set the cookie in php to uh uh cookie name this and then value whatever the code is that's the typical way. So if I go over here, once again, uh, refresh the page, uh, F5, and then type in, let's just say 78910, and then I'm gonna click login, and then 78910 is the cookie that is set. And if I right click on this, and then go to my console.log, then I type in document cookie and then there's the value that is not the way to secure your uh, cookie sessions in PHP so another way to do that is to make it more secure so I'm gonna delete this over here and refresh the page and it takes back so the way you secure your uh, login is you set the cookie in PHP same way, but there are a couple of things that you want to add, which is right over here. There's a list of these, right? So here we go. I'll go over here, come back here. So this is the standard way, which we don't want to do. So another way, what it is in your cookie, you can set the name, value, when it's going to expire, the path, the domain, secure, THP and what kind of request is going to take right so another way to do it is just same exact code literally same exact code that you're going to set but instead you're going to add more variables or more uh, of the yes more variables and so what are you going to do is over here uh, i just i will leave this in here for you so you have a, a understanding of what it is so it takes a few parameters one of them is the name which is the code the value whatever the value is when it is going to expire if you want to don't want it to expire then what you can do is just leave it as null and then the path you could just say uh dash meaning the path of the URL that you are accessing it from. And then domain, I would say, uh, actually, I would just say leave it no, and then domain is wherever you are accessing forms. In this case, this is the local host. So I would just put it as a dash. So any, any folder, you can access this cookie from PHP to securely log in. And then you're secure whether it is at HTTP or regular HT. So in this case, what I will do is I would just say this is not a secure cookie for this particular example. So you're going to set that to false. And then for your HTTP, you're going to set that to true. And that's it. That's all it is. And this is where these things is going to make it different for your login system. So let's try it one more time. So 
we go over here first let's just see if it's going to set the code so i'm going to type in 0007 that's right 007 and click on the login button and then click over here and it didn't set it right and the question is why didn't it set it so let's see what it does so this is a good example for you to troubleshoot your thing so i'm going to go 007 click over here and it did not set it so let's go back to our cookies so in here we'll just say let's change this out so we'll say for your path i'll just leave it the way it is just a no and let's try it one more time go over here go over here so let's refresh it all right i know it doesn't seem like it's refreshed but it is refresh there's a seven all right so that's not working all right guys so what happened was when i was trying to set a cookie in here where the uh, particular variables i had an extra uh a parameter put in here so instead of doing this what do you want to do is you want to use this one so it has a code which is the name then it has the value which is this when you want to expire which is going to be no because i don't want it to be expiring cookie and then the path is going to be just this dash a uh, slash backward slash and then the domain you want to leave it alone uh which is just no and then the false for https and then for htt you want to put it as a true so if we set this now and refresh our browser and we have our cookie here there's nothing set in here so we're called 007 and then click on login and then voila there is our cookie so now if we go back the real test is that if it's secure or if it's not secure so we go in here uh, this time around we're going to type in document dot cookie and guess what there is nothing that comes up and that is the best way to use and make sure your application is secure is this particular way that is to include the value obviously whatever the name of the cookie is and then your uh, the value and then whether you want it to expire if you want to expire put the timestamp in there if you want to within a day two three or whatever the case might be and that the most important part is these three last parameters not even last param last three but more more importantly these two so make sure that you include these two parameters in here so false if you wanted to have a https if it's secure then you want to do that so let's say if i turn this around to true and then this one to be false and what this is going to do is it's not going to work and that's the whole point of me showing you this so if i go over here i hope it doesn't work let's find out right so if i go 007 and i click on log and before i do that so let's clear this out let's see what happens if i click on this and it locks me in but does it does it do it all right so if i go over here just to see so now we have http then we have secure and if i go delete this go over here document let me just refresh this so if i go here re-log in all right so that's the moment of truth now will it or will it not show me if i type in cookie in here i will let you comment below and let me know what happens when you implement this so hopefully you enjoy this and if you really did and you really really did make sure you subscribe to the channel comment below and let me know what was the result after you implemented this into your project i love to know as i always said happy coding guys